Let's make this project left-handed. Welcome to part 8 of my virus tutorial. Let's go make round 10. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Welcome to part 8 of my virus blanket tutorial. We are still working on the cream color right here. So over here it's in white. We're just going to continue on the third round of this four round repeat to complete this in white. So let's get started. So this again is round 10. I think this is a place where people get confused and add or drop a stitch right here at the very very beginning. This is my little sneaky way. This is my tip and trick for making sure that we start out with the correct amount of stitches. So I'm going to pull this out here. Find all of your double crochets from this one. There's the, That was your very last one. So we want to count back nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's mark the top of that ninth stitch back. That's where we want to start because we're going to chain three. One, two, three, that counts as a stitch. And then we're going to go into this one we just marked with the double crochet. And that start that counts as a stitch. So very quickly there we made two. Double crochet into the top of every one of these we want to end up with 10 ending on the last one here. So we're going to double crochet on the top of every double crochet that we did the previous round. There's number three, there's number four, there's five, there's six, seven, eight, oopsie, there's eight, nine, and our last one is going on into the do last double crochet from the previous round. There's number 10. It should sound familiar. So this is round 10, but it's really the same thing as round 6. That's why we just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and adding more increases. But the corner parts are always going to be the same. The starting parts are always going to be the same. Just how many extra little spots like this we have down the sides. So once you get these few few rows down, you can make this blanket as big as you want to. So we double crocheted in the top of all of our double crochets from the previous round. So we're making our fan bigger is what we're doing. As soon as we get done with our double crochet, we jump over here to our chain three space, single crochet, chain three, sound familiar, right? And single crochet. Now we're to the next fan. So making sure that you start in the top of the double crochet, first double crochet, not down here, right here. Double crochet again one in each for a total of 10 to make our fan bigger. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's our last one is 10. Go straight into this double, go straight into this chain three space with a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet in the other chain three space. And now we're to the corner. So we're going to do 10 double crochets in this part of the fan and 10 in this part of the fan. So we're going to make our fan way bigger. So there's a total of 20. Make sure you find the first, your proper starting spot right there. And we're gonna go, oopsie, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten for the first half of for the first half of this corner. There's our first 10 and here's our second 10. Go to the next one right here. So I'm going to go 11. Count that as 11 because I want 20 total. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and in our last double crochet right here is number 20. And now I have a knot. There we go. So there's our corner. It's our first complete corner. We just made this great big fan bigger. Total of 10 here and 10 here for a total of 20 double crochets across this fan. Now we're going to continue. We're going to repeat all those things we just did. As soon as we get done with our double crochets, jump into the first chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet in the other chain three space. Now we're to another fan. So find the first double crochet from the previous round in your fan right here. Double crochet in the top of each one of them. So we're increasing our fan and there's number two. Just making the fan bigger. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and our very last stitch right here. 10. So we made that fan a little bit bigger. Now as soon as you're done with your double crochets, we're going to work into these chain three spaces. Go straight in with a single crochet. Chain three. Single crochet into the other chain three space. Now we're back to a corner. We want to make the fan bigger, the double crochet in every in every stitch from the previous round. So we're going to end up with 20 again here. 10 in this side and 10 in this side. So again, 20 double crochets. Find your first double crochet from this fan right here and that's where you start right there. Double crochet one, two, three, four, see. Still four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's the first half of this fan. So we're going to do the other side now. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and there's our last one, is in the last double crochet. There's number 20. As soon as we're done with the double crochets, we jump into this chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three, single crochet into the chain three space. Very repetitive, very easy. Found another fan right here, so we're going to increase our fan size. We're going to make it taller and bigger 
with a double crochet in every stitch. So 10 more. There's your very first double crochet is right here. So we want to do our double crochet for this round in the top of that stitch. There's number one. There's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And there's our last stitch right here. Ten. Same as all the others, as soon as you're done with this double crochet, you go jump right into this chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three. And single crochet in the other chain three space. Now we're at a corner. Because there's right here. There's the two and another two. So this is a corner. This part of the fan gets ten double crochets and that part of the ten fan gets 10 double crochets. So we're starting right here and doing 20 double crochets around this fan. So right here, one, two, three, four, Eight, nine, and ten for the first half, and continue on. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and there's our last, there's our last double crochet from the previous row of the fan is right here. There's number 20. So there's our, our fan is getting bigger in the corner. Okay, get more yarn again. Start to use a lot more yarn now with all of these increases. Take a little bit more time, but we're still almost done with round 10. There's where we started. We have one more side left. This is really, really easy. I told you it was easy and I meant it. All right, so we just finished our 20 double crochets around this corner. So you jump right into this chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three and single crochet into the other chain three space. Now we're at another fan, so it's going to get a double crochet on top of every other double crochet to make our fan bigger. So we're going to have 10 more. There's where we start here. This is our first double crochet is right here. So in the top of that with double crochet number one and number two and number three and number four Number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's our last one here. Go in the top of this guy. And number ten. We're almost done. Almost done with round ten. As soon as you're done, jump into the chain three space with a single crochet. Chain three and single crochet into the other chain three space. Now we have to finish the last part of our first corner. We started here, so we need to increase this fan. Ten double crochets. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. But now these aren't really connected. We want to bring this circle together. So we're going to slip stitch into the third chain, our very first chain three. We're just going to slip stitch so we can bring that together. So there you go. Round 10 complete. Told you it was easy. Told you it was very easy. Well, thanks for stopping by to see part eight of my tutorial for doing our fibers blanket. Uh, thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications so you know when the next part comes out. And I will see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.